Well, thank you for joining me. I'm out today at my local field. As you can see, I'm all set up. Uh, I'm looking at an app I found on the Apple Store. It's only currently available for iOS. The app's called Hangar 360. And it is for taking panoramic photos of, your, uh, of the surroundings using your quad. To launch the app, simply launch from the home screen. Takes a couple of seconds to start up. First of all, it just tells you aircraft slim is unavailable, and then it should then say ready to start. Once it says ready to start, you should then just touch the button on the right hand side of the screen and you get a bit of a checklist. Propellers are secure, takeoff location is clear, battery has enough charge, above drone is clear, flight mode switch is in the F position and ready to override with flight mode switch. Once you've gone through those, button in the middle of the screen, click it, it says countdown started. What this will do, this will launch the quad 300 feet into the air and then it will start taking photos. There we go, quad started up. And it goes up quite rapidly, I must admit, it really does. Looking at the image on the screen, you can at that point, of course, adjust your brightness, your contrast and so on, before it gets to 300 feet, to give you the optimal settings. If the quad's right above you, I've just put my aerials back just to maintain connection. You can see I've got, and there you go, it's now started capturing one of 23. This might take a while, so I'll fast forward uh, through to the end of the, the 23. Okay, so it's done 22 now. It's going to do the last one, which is usually the straight down shot 23. That's 23 pictures taken. It didn't take all that long. It does actually take them, uh, it does take it quite quick. Uh, finalising media. And then once it's finished finalising the media and the picture's all finished and done, it says mission complete. Would you like to continue flying or return to home? You can issue a return to home, but for me, I want to come down manually. So I'm going to just tap on continue flying, put it into P mode, and I'm going to bring the quad down. So I'm going to land the quad and I'll be back in one moment. Okay, so that's the quad down. As you can see, it's now popped up a message that says there are photos available on the aircraft. Now, you can choose to copy them to your device later, or you can copy them now. What I'll do is I'll choose the copy photos option now. And what it'll do is it'll start to now transfer them across. And again, I'll just fast forward because this bit does take about two minutes or so. So that's 99, nearly done now, there we go. It says copy complete, and it says send photos to Hangar for processing later or send photos. The previous one I got was it's about 120 meg in size, so I'm just gonna tap later, and then it shows you what's on the device. The two underneath the ones I've done previously. Okay, so I'm back at home now uh, on my home broadband, which means that uh, it's gonna hopefully work a bit quicker. Um, so yeah, so once I've started back up, you don't have to connect it to your aircraft, uh, it pops up a message that says photos available, uh, send all photos to hangar. Uh, now, if you've only got the one set of photos, and I'll cover this in a second, then just hit send photos. However, uh, because I've got already a couple of uh, panels on here I've done, I'm just going to hit on the later button, tap the screen there, go on to device, and it warns you there, uh, sending 360 photos uh, using 120 mega network data. Uh, you can continue and don't warn again, uh, or you can continue, and every time, otherwise you're gonna get the same error message. Uh, because I'm now showing you guys, I'm gonna hit continue and don't warn again. And then it's gonna now upload the photos to Hangar. Now this might take a few minutes, so once again, I'll fast forward through the, uh, the weighty bit. Okay, 99%, 100% done. Okay, send complete. Please wait a few minutes while we process your photos. So again, just click on the dismiss and it will show processing. And once again, I'll just fast forward through this because it might take another few minutes before it's finished processing. Okay, 
Well, it's been about 10 minutes now of processing. I uh, can't remember last time how long it took. So I'm gonna just tap on it and see what it's doing. It's just spinning its circle around. Actually, it says status complete. So maybe there's a bit of a, a glitch with the app. Uh, view 360 photo. Let's have a look at what the photo looks like. Will it work or will it not work? So then think about it, isn't it? It is still a new app. Uh, there are going to be you know, a few teething issues with it. Uh, oh, there we go. That's the app working. So I'm going to just move my iPad around now. And as you can see, it does show a full 360. All the way around. Now, unfortunately, you will get this. The hangar logo in the sky. Um, I'm going to go through the... Um, the FAQ in a minute and I'll come to that but you know if you're not too bothered about the big blue patch with the word hanger uh, written on it then you know it's a perfectly good usable 360 uh, photo uh, is all I can say to it so what I'm going to do now is just come out of there press the cross again and I'm now going to go through the uh, the FAQ so just hit the app again um, there is a, an FAQ section. If you go into settings, see it's now showing uh, as that's done, it's shown it's completed. So I will email them and let them know that it seems to just stick on the word processing, but it's actually completed. Okay, down, oh, excuse me, down here, you've got your settings tab and you can use uh, Imperial or Metric. Uh, anonymous usage data. They're going to want to know how the app's been used, um, where it's been used, etc. Obviously, it helps them call on the market and make the right decisions as to how the app should move forward and skip intro and um, when you use it for the first time you'll see the intro and then you've got the option to skip it and down on this one here um, is the FAQ I believe there's a contact us where you can open a new ticket and then there's lots of things featured such as why are my 360 photos missing if you just tap each one it comes up with um, the answer to the question um, you can just go back to the help screen uh, why they're unable to process I'm not going to go through all these because it'll just take forever but there are sort of 24 articles there now there was one more thing and uh, I did actually ponder myself um, what would happen if it did and that one is uh, if I can find it um, boom, 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 boom. let's see can I fly? That's it. Can I fly to a preferred location altitude and engage from there? It says, yes, you can. Currently, if you fly to a height above or below 300 feet and choose to start a photo mission from that height, hangar will prompt you. And I've actually tested this. And I can just show you a little bit of video now. Um, so yeah, that's uh, something I, I did have a look at. Let's well, read the FAQ. Uh, as I say, they are still sort of uh, building this. Uh, some of the answers to the questions are dated sort of 1st of May 2017. Uh, so they are, it, it is a relatively new app, but it's still a usable app apart from the Hangar 360 logo, uh, which they said they are going to look at changing. Maybe you can start putting your own name up there, you know, photos by Fly My Phantom or whatever you want to put. A Hangar 360 panoramic app for iOS. Uh, again, it is supposed to be coming for Android. They've said they are looking at it, so you Android users can have a go at doing this. I'm going to go now. I'm uh, going to enjoy my quiet evening. Uh, it's been a pleasure as always. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Remember, Fly My Phantom says, always fly safely.